Hi there, let's spend a few minutes looking at returns to scale. Well, what do we mean by this? Returns to scale refers to how the output of a production process changes as all the inputs are increased by the same proportion. So it's a concept used to understand long run or long term production capabilities and uh, productive efficiency of businesses. So let's say a firm uses labour and capital. The initial input is 10 units of both labour and capital. Let's say we get 50 units of output from that process. If we double the inputs to 20 of labour and capital, we might end up with 140 units of output. Now here, inputs have doubled, but output has increased by more than double, indicating increasing returns to scale. And when that happens, the long run average cost will be falling. There will be some economies of scale. On the other hand, we might double the input again initially, 50 units of output from 10 units of labour and capital. We double our inputs, output goes up, but it only goes up to 70. So the increase in output is less than double, indicating decreasing returns to scale. Now, in the exam, please don't use the word diminishing. That's a short run idea. The concept is decreasing returns to scale, and when that happens, Average cost will be going up, and we call that dis economies of scale. Quick overview here's some numbers. Uh, we're adding uh, units of labour and capital as we go up in proportion, and the output figures are showing there. The inputs, well, initially we have a 100% increase, then a 50, then a 33, then a 25. That's percentage change in inputs. The key question is whether the change in output percentage terms is more or less than or the same as the change in inputs. Well, initially, there's increasing returns to scale, output change bigger than input change for the first two, then constant returns to scale, 33 and 33, then decreasing returns to scale. So increasing, increasing, constant, decreasing. When Returns to scale are increasing, average cost will be falling. When you have constant returns to scale, average cost will remain the same. And when returns to scale are decreasing, average cost will be going up. Now, this is quite important. Increasing returns to scale implies falling long and average costs. Uh, and uh, obviously, that's an economy of scale. So it really is about firms trying to optimise their production levels, hopefully to achieve the lowest feasible average cost, whilst at the same time avoiding diseconomies of scale. And it also has implications, as we will see, especially in future videos, for industry structure. So returns to scale can have an impact on the size and concentration of firms within a market, within an industry. Think about uh, platform businesses, social media businesses. Think about the big energy and telecoms utilities. They often have just a few firms dominating the market because of increasing returns to scale. There are significant benefits from scaling up production. There we go, a quick video on returns to scale.